What is up everyone? How are you doing? Uh, you've read the title, so you know how I'm doing. Now this video is just a little update video, I don't expect it to get views. It's just a little thing that I can look back on and think, oh, that's the day when I lost everything. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, as the title says, I lost two terabytes of files and data. Um, pretty much everything except my operating system is gone. So uh, videos, pictures, documents, programs. Uh, very thankfully, all my really important files like Fiverr and YouTube, I keep them stored on an external drive, so they were unaffected. Now I know that you do not care at all but i'm still going to talk about it because otherwise why do you click on this video if you don't care just so you might be thinking how did this happen well basically i have two main drives my c drive which has just my operating system windows 10 and my e drive which has everything else now my c drive for the past few months has been causing some problems like not updating and I've known that it's been quite an issue for a while, it hasn't affected my day to day usage of my computer but I knew it was on its last legs and uh, that's what happened yesterday, it finally gave up and just refused to boot. Now I predicted this would happen so a few days ago I ordered an SSD uh, to replace my HDD and yesterday it arrived and I replaced it and it all seemed to work fine, you know, I've got a new C drive for my operating system, it's all good. Load up Windows 10 installation media in a USB. Now once my new Windows is done installing, I see that I've got my C drive, it's looking fresh, it's looking new, it's looking clean, uh, I've got my D drive which barely had anything on it, it was just there, and my E drive which is a 2TB drive, and I realised I couldn't open it. It didn't show us how much storage it had. Uh, I couldn't open it because it said, what was the error? It gave us like three different errors, three different times. It was like the file type is unrecognisable, or you don't have permission from trusted... Trusted installer is a bitch, by the way. Why did they do that? My computer hasn't updated Windows since May 2019. So there were a lot of features that I didn't know about. Trusted installer is one of them. Trusted installer? What is that about? You need permission for your own computer. What's going on? But anyways, I could not access my eDrive at all. So then I had to do a bit of searching and then I found the CMD command check disk exists. So I open up CMD as administrator. I type in check disk slash, what is it, slash F? Yeah, slash F and I let it do its thing. And then afterwards, I received some very good news and some very bad news. The very good news is, I can finally get access to my E drive. The bad news is, it's been reduced down to 100 gigs. Yeah, one, 1 1.9 terabytes. Now, if I knew that check disk was gonna take away 95% of my drive, I probably would have considered some other options before it, but to my surprise, all I had left was a Windows folder. I don't know why that's there. I mean, I managed to get rid of it eventually after a long, hard battle with Trusted Installer. But yeah, as you can see, 118 gigs from what used to be 2 terabytes. And also, 60 gigs is already taken up. It used to be up to here, and then I deleted my Windows folder because I've got my actual Windows on my C but there's still 60 gigs and I was like what the hell is taking up 60 gigs so I opened it up and I couldn't find anything and then I activated hidden files and then I found program data and in users where is it PC I found app data so this app data right here and this program data are taking up 60 gigs now as you can see this is my external drive with all my YouTube stuff on it so thank god that's all there my C drive, my beautiful C drive with 74 gigs free. Oh, I've never seen it so empty. And then I've decided that I'm now going to put all my programs and pictures and videos and everything onto my D drive. Now, I think the reason I haven't been stressed or upset or worried throughout any of this is because I am devoid of emotion. Now, I, th I think it's because um, I just conditioned myself over time to not stress about, about things like this because... You know, as long as you've got a roof over your head, oh, this is going to sound so pretty cringy, but literally, as long as you've got a roof over your head, food, water, you know, you've got a nice healthy life. Honestly, like, what else is, this is a really first world problem. So although I'm complaining and, you know, I deserve to complain, I've lost a lot of stuff, a lot of good memories, clips of GTA with the boys, but you know, maybe stuff happens for a reason. Maybe those memories weren't meant to be saved, they were just meant to be kept up here, who knows. 
ironic considering I've got a terrible memory. But anyways, I think the real, you know, philosophical take you can get from this is that, you know, you don't need to have uh, a record of everything, you know? Everything is digital now, we're in the online era. So we've gotten too used to having a record of absolutely everything, being able to go back and access physical and digital copies and records of our memories. And you know, we just don't live in the moment anymore. And that's become very, very prevalent in society. So. Who knows, maybe this is a good thing, maybe I just got really unlucky. But I guess my mindset throughout all this was, uh, it's not the end of the world. No need to stress. Psych! Back up everything.